Hi, welcome back, and or if you're new, um, welcome to my channel. Um, primarily, I'm going to focus on, you know, by the name of my channel, um, as you can tell, nail polish. I may occasionally go off into some related topics, but for the most part, this is a, primarily a nail polish uh, channel. And uh, when I, one of the things that I mentioned in some of my other videos tonight is that I'm trying to kind of wrap up my collection videos for now. Um, I mentioned that I'm planning um, to revamp, you know, sort of my storage method. My current storage method would make it pretty much impossible for me to show my whole collection at once. So this is one that I never managed to get around to showing. This is quite a few years old. Although I'd say from the look of it, it and it is Mary Kay. I have had Mary Kay nail polishes for over, I would say it's been 25 years probably I've had. And these are not that old. These are probably more like 5 to 10 years old. Um, I basically, and you know, it's a kind of a shame. I really like Mary Kay products. Um, I think mainly is that I moved to a new area quite a while ago and never moved to a new Mary Kay agent. So what I ended up doing is buying these at a local craft show, and she was a Mary Kay agent that was sort of selling out her inventory. And I, to be quite honest, and I absolutely used to wear Mary Kay nail polish was probably my main polish, like say 20 or 25 years ago. And I had the whole nail care system, and I loved it. And, like I said, you know, and I had a huge collection. And I don't honestly even remember what I did with those polishes. I mean, obviously, those would be 25 years old now. I wouldn't still have them today. Except for, <laughs> you know, it'd be, they probably, they may have dried up. I don't remember. Or I may have actually sold them like trying to reduce, there were periods of time where I would try to reduce my nail polish collection and I may have simply sold them. But anyway, I'll go over the colors. Um, there's a dupe here. I have Mulberry Spice twice. But this is one of the things that I find kind of intriguing about dupes. They're not absolutely, they're obviously from a different batch. In person, there's an ever so slight difference between the two. <clears throat> Excuse me. One color might have ended up with just a tiny bit more pigment. I'm not sure what it was, but I think, or maybe they just slightly changed the color over time. I think this bottle has more of a metallic shimmer and maybe a little, almost of a tinge of frost to it. And this color, the same color, Mulberry Spice, um, is a much more just simple shimmer, but a beautiful burgundy sort of, or cranberry red. And, you know, I've been discussing future videos tonight as I've been filming these collection videos and haul videos, and I'm thinking, you know, I talked about doing a fall line, you know, sort of colors. I would say this, some of these colors might fall into more of the Christmas category. Um, this color is called strike a pose rose and this one has a frost the the light that's hitting it right now is definitely making it throw like a tremendous amount of frost and it's n probably nowhere near that much of a frost on the nail or maybe it's just because of the lighting this color is called ruby slipper which is kind of funny because i was just talking about ruby ruby slippers because I, even though in, when I was looking at my earlier videos, uh, which may not get uploaded on the same day, because it does take some time to get them through, you know, processing and everything, um, and it's pretty late, I've been making videos all night, um, and doing other things, you know, just watching videos on YouTube and stuff like that, but anyway, I called, I was calling this manicure that I'm wearing Ruby Slippers because 
Although it throws a lot of orange in the video and it's not as orange in real life. It's funny that this color is called Ruby Slipper and it is, this is um, a really romantic sort of velvety blood red sort of color. This would maybe be a nice one for either Christmas or Valentine's or just a classic. It's just a really nice classic red. Um, this is sort of almost a taupe or mocha. I've, actually, I feel kind of sad about taupe. I, I'm horrible about describing the color taupe. I'm not exactly sure if I know what the color taupe is because I've seen the color taupe described as everything under the sun that's sort of anywhere from tan to, to almost mauve. Um, but anyway, this color is called uh, Mocha Freeze, so I guess they're thinking it's more along the Mocha line of thinking. I would say, what would be another way to describe this color if it's not, say, capturing really well on camera? Um, it's another frost, and I know that's another type of polish that sort of some people don't like, maybe. Other people might love it. I have heard people say they don't like frost colors. I don't have an issue with them. I don't wear them on a regular basis, but I certainly don't have an issue with frost, like a dislike for it. I guess this is sort of reminds me of a really neutral tone uh, lipstick or lip product, lip gloss. So it's it's a pretty conservative color probably on the nail I had. I don't remember wearing that one. Honestly, it's been so long since I use these, I don't have really vivid memories of any of these polishes. I'll have to, again, do... They wouldn't exactly be review videos, but I will try these out, even though they're older. And I, I can tell you, I don't think these are aging in a way that... I mean, they are still look like they'll be fine to use. They don't seem to be getting thick, clumping, anything like that. And like I said before... The Mary Kay polishes I've owned in the past, I probably owned my first batch of Mary Kay polishes for over 10 years with no issue whatsoever, maybe even longer. Um, they were, maybe some of them thickened, but I know Mary Kay has, from my memory, a, a product where you can um, bring your polish back. Um, here's a really interesting color that's sort of throwing iridescence, both in real life and it looks like in the viewfinder. Um, it's got tones that are like copper and almost borderline, you know, they're peach and, you know, it almost is in the bottle looking a little bit like a holographic polish. Um, this one is called Rose Sands, which I guess that would be a good sort of rough description of this color would be to say this looks somewhat along the lines of a rose gold as well. Uh, but maybe with a little more pizzazz. Or I think this is the color I wore the most out of all the ones I bought that day. Because she had these marked down because she was probably selling off either products she'd had around or whatever her reasons were, she seemed to be maybe clearing out some of her collection for sales. I know they probably get new lines and then it's probably like, I'm not sure they bother carrying the older stuff and I have no idea if this collection is still made or if they've changed the look of the polishes I have to look. I really should get another Mary Kay agent in my area and get back into having Mary Kay Again, because it is a, an excellent product, and they do, these are, these, I don't think there's going to be a date. I don't know, I'll show the bottom of the bottle in case someone knows what the lot numbers mean. Watch it, I really hope that's not 2006. That would be funny. It does, well, these are a half an ounce, and I, I don't think it gives any idea how old these are, other than if that code on the bottom, like this one has a BK03 on the bottom, I don't know. If those are the year they were made, that's ancient, but, um, <laughs> for nail polish, but, uh, no, I d no, they can't be, because this one says BF17, so whatever the codes mean, maybe they mean nothing, but, to do with the age, but I have no concept of when this line, or these colors were out. Like I said, I have a dupe. I 
when I was buying these, I just thought the mulberry spice looked like a color that I would wear the most, so, because I really like reds. So, um, thanks for, so much for watching, and I'll probably be uploading a lot of videos in the near future because, um, I don't know, I'm just sort of on a kick right now <laughs> making nail videos. So, thank you so much, and look forward to more videos, okay? Bye.